hello guys welcome back to my channel it's been quite some time and we are back with another hockey video this one's about crosby just made nhl history and if you know me if you have been watching this channel for some time you know that crosby is my all-time favorite hockey player all time all time all time for me he's the good but yeah please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content comment on what you see next and subscribe for more content let's see what you achieved it's not very often you uh time wing gretzky with a record yeah that's oh. cool obviously something that uh I didn't want to talk about it. I knew it was getting closer. And um, yeah, anytime you can be in that company. He tied a record with the, the, the great Wayne Gretzky. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Wayne Gretzky and now Sidney Crosby. That's it. That's the list. After an absolutely stunning NHL career, breaking or setting just about any NHL record you can think of, Wayne Gretzky, deservingly so, was dubbed the great one. Yeah. And obviously that has not and will not ever change. But long before a young... Sometimes I advocate for Lemieux saying if he had not had all those injuries, maybe he would have tied all of Gretzky's records, but that's that is just a what if but as for reality gretzky is we all know he's the goat in terms of stats he's the goat young sydney crosby ever entered the league he was dubbed the next one a tall order to live up to but boy has he ever lived up to it as tonight the next one officially caught up to the great one see it's been a tough year for the penguins as a whole who despite not mathematically being eliminated the odds are they're about to miss their second consecutive year after missing the playoffs last season wow. for the first time in 17 years but it certainly has not been to the fault of their captain Sidney crosby at 36 years of age he has been on a tear trying to drag the penguins to the offseason himself and coming into tonight's matchup against the the Rangers, he had 10 points in his last four games and found himself just three points shy of recording yet another point per game season for the 19th time in his career. It was a game where we saw Quick celebrated for becoming the winningest American goalie in NHL history with 392 as he received his silver goalie stick. That was really cool to see. Mm, I may have to look more into it, but I don't know this goalie and I don't know what record he just achieved in hockey, but I may look into it. Let me know in the comment what he just achieved. We had Shesterkin getting a little heated with Crosby as the two went at it a bit, and we definitely saw some feistiness in this one. We also had an e-bug in the building, the Rangers with a controversial one called back, and of course, Sidney Crosby making a little NHL history. So let's get into it. And it was right off the bat. Smith to Crosby, rebound, and they score. It's Brian Rust with his 25th of the year to extend his point streak to five right. as the Penguins on the board just 18 seconds in. And Crosby was now just two points from 82. Just six minutes later, it's Rust to Crosby, and he rings it off the iron as he was this close to making it two. They come back out, Crosby to the front, and it's Rust denied. So then Joseph from the point and this time they score and of course it is it's Sidney Crosby with a classic redirect in front as he scores his 36th of the year okay. but hold on now the Rangers would challenge it for offside and it was close too close as after review this was deemed a good goal which also meant the Penguins went to the power play but after Truba would lose his stick, Carlson moving it out of the way would get called for interference. And he wasn't pleased about it, but you're back. Wait, so if a player lost their stick or anything on the field, you are not supposed to touch it? Even if it is in front of you, what if it makes you fall? Like, I don't know the rule about that, but man, that's, that's weird back to even strength with that said though not much went down and that was actually about it for the first so we'll head over to the second where with that strong opening period crosby was now just one point from securing 82. however malkin just two minutes in would get called for the slash getting into mm. the hands of fox and while he didn't like it the rangers would get to work and it's trocheck as he gets one off the post but no worries fox to zabanajad and they score 
but it's immediately waved off. Called for goalie interference, it's Kreider in front, and I don't know. He certainly interfered with Nedeljkovic, but that came after he was also definitely pushed back into Nedeljkovic. Nonetheless, this one was deemed not a good goal, and while they were dangerous, the Rangers... Man, I didn't even know about goalie interference. Um, I just learned two, rule, two new rules. Goalie interference and... The fact that you're not supposed to touch the stick of another player if it falls inside the pitch. Just couldn't get another one to go. They were certainly busy, though, as another one off the post here. Catching some iron along with the fact that the Penguins were just doing a great job getting into the lanes to block them meant they just couldn't find the back of the net. And that then gets us to this. Shesterkin playing the puck behind the net as him and Crosby come together gives him another oh, one as things were heating up a bit. And this was just kind of fun to see. A little later now, Wenberg in the corner and he gets hit by Good. Raquel. And things definitely got a bit feisty as when. Wenberg was shaken up and taking a look Wenberg was kind of turning here at the last second so I don't know it's it's a bit from behind was that a but fault? it's a tough position to put yourself in and while the Rangers wanted the penalty there wasn't one given however the Rangers okay. would end up on the power play almost immediately but once again the Penguins played a strong game again just getting into the lanes fought off another one as this was about the best chance that they got and with the PP expiring so did the period as once again Crosby and Chester Sturkin had another little exchange. Wonder what was said there. But let's head over to the third and final frame, okay. where Sid, again, just hungry, creating his own chances in search of that final point. With 10 to go, a Rangers giveaway would lead to Bemstrom in all alone, and he scores backhand to forehand, and boom, a huge goal, his seventh of the year to give the Penguins a little insurance late. Not even a minute later, though, Fox to Kako, mm. and it's a huge stop by Nedeljkovic mm. to keep it out. Or did he? Kako is and immediately seemed to think this may have gone in and taken a look it's tough to see but after review it was in fact deemed over the line and the rangers were right back in this and so with a little life they would get a few chances before zibanejad with the shot off the end and wall they're coming and they back. Score they again. again roslovic with the fortuitous bounce scores his eighth wow. of the year as the rangers were now within just one and if you've watched penguins hockey this year this was starting to feel like the all too common third period blow up and so with two to go rangers pull shesterkin but the penguins come up with it and rust down the length of the ice would oh, score his no second goalie. of the night as i could breathe a sigh of relief still with about two minutes left though they try it again and panarin with the shot it's blocked by none other than crosby who take it the other way and with the empty netter second of the night the third point of the night imagine he misses the goal he shoot and misses and this is crosby and the game is ending and he officially secured his 19th straight season with a point per game. For it to come off of a blocked shot, it's just exactly what he is. A full 200-foot player. So for 19 years, for each game, he either scored or gave an assist. Man, this guy is great. And now, with his 19th season at a point per game, he tied Gretzky as the only player in NHL history to accomplish this. Wow. To be at this level for such a sustained amount of time speaks to the remarkable player Sid has been and at age 36 continues to be. Now, quickly, on the other end of that, though, there was a couple oh, of nasty cross-checks as even Nedeljkovic would come and stand up for his guy, but it was a little too late for the Rangers as that was about it for this one. The Penguins, with a strong wrong road game just makes absolutely no sense you lose to columbus but beat the rangers don't give me hope just to rip my heart out <laughs> but that's about it for this one as always thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it very much and i'll see you in the next one playing doing something that you love young. to do and just like enjoying it and even getting paid to do something you love to do yeah. i mean can't even imagine how amazing that would be Man, I just love this guy. He is great. Imagine like for 19 seasons straight, for each game he played, he either scores or gives an assist. Not even Messi has done that. Messi has multiple games where he didn't score or gave an assist. Then Crosby is great. And since he tied with Gretzky, I am hopeful, but if he plays for one more season, he can beat the record because right now Gretzky, Gretzky like he, he is tied with Gretzky. But let's say he plays next year and he still has it then he would have beat Gretzky at least in one 
in one thing. But yeah, that was great. Please don't leave, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the content, comment on this next, and subscribe for more content. And until next time, peace out.